And look and look what we have here. GMG is also now into the M1 Garand, like ICS is trying to produce one and Marushin already did one. Well, this is the GNG one. The GNG Garand will be out in June. This is just a prototype right now. It will use real wood. This one has a plastic upper receiver right now, but the final product will have a metal upper receiver. This item is not a gas blower, it's an automatic electric gun, which means it's 100% compatible to the M14 internal from GNG. Speaking of, since it's an AG, it already has a magazine. The magazine holds 20 rounds and is hidden. This is the hidden magazine unlock. I just hope I can unlock it. And, yeah, don't want to break the prototype. There goes the magazine. As I said, it holds 20 rounds. The final gun will come with two magazines. Well, so at least you have 40 rounds available. So just trying to put it in there. Oh, it's moving apart. Okay, I didn't do it, whatever. Uh, by the way, it reassembles like the real thing, like it should. When you pull it back, you could, reassemble, you could disassemble and reassemble it. I'll let the reassembling of the prototype do now the GNG stuff and just hide and I've never seen that there's something broken here. From one prototype to the next, this is the GNG G96 shell ejecting blowback sniper rifle. Well, that's pretty much of a name for such a small thing, but the idea is that there will be two versions available, a green gas version and a CO2 version. At the CO2 version, the CO2 tank will go in the back and it will be magazine fed. Now, this is a prototype of the green gas version, which has an internal magazine, which I can't unlock right now, which has an internal magazine that also holds five shells. The green gas will come up in the front, BB comes in a shell, five shots into the internal magazine, put it in, you will shoot and you eject the shell. Of course, this is a non-working prototype, so I can't show you the recoil right now, but GNG of course guarantees that the recoil is very strong, <laughs> we will see that. Interesting thing is, the recoil will be built inside the barrel. It will be built somewhere inside here. When using CO2, the gas will be redirected all the way up here into that to make it go BAM! When you pull the trigger. Well, it's expected to be available in June, so uh, probably the end of the year. And no release, no exactly release and no price yet. GNG is now not just an automatic electric gun, but in gas blowbacks. This is their combat machine radar, as you can see on the markings. This one is designed to be a budget line or sports line or whatever you call it, gas blowback rifle, meaning where they're aiming for a tune release and for about 200 to 250 US dollar retail price. As you can see, the gas blowback bolt doesn't go fully back. Of course, budget reasons, but it will still give a significant kick. There will be options available with either a green gas mag or a CO2 magazine for increasing shot time and of course stronger FPS values. The magazine holds 30 BBs, so realistic capacity magazine. Uh, one thing you may have noticed already by watching the video, this one is made of a plastic body. That's of course also for budget reasons, but I guess GNG won't just stick to this one. Like I know GNG, there will be probably a more metalish version out there with the gas blowback system and who knows, maybe an F2000 with gas blowback? Well, we will see. This is one of GNG's newest items. This guy, no, he's just working for GNG, he's not the GSC newest product, but he will show the latest product and it is an intelligent tracer unit. Please. What is the Intelligent Tracer Unit? Uh, new product for 2012, uh, MIT, Military Intelligence Tracer Unit. Uh, five functions in one. Uh, we try to incorporate as many uh, different uh, details into one unit. Uh, the first feature is a laser aiming device. And this is a simple, uh, you know, red dot on target mm -hmm. laser aiming device. Can you adjust the laser? Uh, yes, you can adjust for you know uh, windage okay. and elevation mm -hmm. uh, for for just a targeting system. You know you have a red dot on your target. How strong is the laser? 
Uh, laser is uh, one milli. Uh, okay. What? Milli so not very strong. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, this so is this is for you know, it's a, it's still a toy. It's still mm -hmm. for the toy market. Um, we actually have different configurations. So uh, for the weaker one, you mm -hmm. know, for gameplay, uh, for for the lesser uh, usage, uh, we can actually make it more powerful for mm -hmm. the law enforcement military training. Okay. Also, uh, the second function is the tracing unit. The tracing unit we're all familiar with. Uh, low light conditions, nighttime games, glow in the dark BBs. Uh, you can you can see where you're shooting. Um, you know the tracing unit that's built in. The third function is the the, the new exciting function where. We want to increase, uh, improve the distance mm -hmm. uh, of engagement distances. So uh, for the game of Airsoft, uh, when you have the BB coming at you, you have a maximum distance. Mm -hmm. uh, or you know, you're not sure if I hit you or not, or you, know, it, the, you see the BB drop in front of you. Well, with the simulation laser bullet, the, from the same uh, laser, it sends a different signal. Mm -hmm. So every time I pull the trigger and the BB is fired, it fires a different laser signal and this will come with a sensor. So now the distance of engagement is increased, mm -hmm. the accuracy is increased, and you have that extra distance. Even though the BB can't reach you, I can still it's a, it's hit a bit you. It's like the US training system, yes. where they shoot blanks, and every time the blank hits the sensor, the laser simulates a shot. Absolutely, okay. yes. And, and you know anything from you know, regular gameplay mm -hmm. to full simulation training mm -hmm. purpose uh, for that. How does the target look like that people have to be here? Because they have to be some kind of sensors to... Right. Um, actually, I don't have that here. And the reason why is because we're not sure if we're going to make uh, like a, a sensor mm -hmm. or something you wear or something you have. Mm -hmm. uh, but initially, uh, this unit will ship with one sensor. Okay. Um, but we don't know if you want two, three, uh, something you can wear, something you can p attach to other things well, through rails. Probably one on the back side as well. Right, right. So, to shoot people um, in the back. So the, pro <laughs> the prototype uh, right now, uh, we plan to release it in June. And by that time, we want the feedback from our vendors and retailers mm -hmm. for pricing and for configuration wise. Mm -hmm. um, so um, stay tuned for more news in that sense. Okay. Um, the fourth function, uh, it's a shot counter. It counts how many BBs have you shot. So you Low cap, too high much cap. Aliens. I'm you sorry? watch too much Aliens, the movie, <laughs> yes. the shot count on the Yes, side. Uh, but um, it gives you an idea for uh, simulation training, 30 rounds or high cap, you know, 100 rounds, 400 rounds. It, uh, a shot counter is still good for, some, you know, for informational purposes, mm -hmm. for effects, um, so they have that as one of the features. And then the last function is a chronograph built in, velocity, ah. FPS and okay. uh, meters per second and feet per second. So how heavy is this unit? Is there all of the battery in there? Yes. So it's very lightweight. Yes. It's nearly uh, nothing. Rechargeable lithium. Okay. 14 millimeter counterclockwise threading. A laser device, mm -hmm. and then yeah, it's it's not heavy at all. How long can I use it with the full touch battery? How uh, many trace BB shot? How many laser? It's the same thing as our tracer unit. Okay. Yeah. Does this device work? Can we show the display? Yes. There you go. And how accurate is the chronograph that's built in, for example, compared to a usual as of chronograph? The oh shit! Oh no, you're lasering! Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, I want to laser around. <laughs> it's not stopping. Ah, uh, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what was the question? I'm sorry. Uh, the question was how how exact is the chronograph compared oh, to yes. example an external chronograph? Uh, the sensors in here are actually very very good because they have to do three things. They have to do the tracer uh, mm -hmm. sensor, they have to do the simulation, uh, BB counting and the velocity. Mm -hmm. So it's actually very accurate, very nice. How much will it cost? When will it be released? And is this the final look? Because uh, it looks a bit futuristic maybe to give it more like a suppressor look we're, we're planning for June okay um, I don't have a price yet because of the configuration mm -hmm. that we talked about um, I'm not sure if this is gonna be the final look either but okay. this is the prototype that you're looking at right now so it may change because right now it looks a bit too I don't know futuristic toyish maybe make it more slick mm -hmm. more like a real suppressor 
Well, um, it is futuristic, like you said, aliens. <laughs> well, it seems like G and G is now into sex toys. No, I'm just kidding. That's an electronic target that has a light indicator as well as a sound. As soon as it gets hit, it makes noise. You can adjust the sound of the target and you will see it's a 360 degree target. So it doesn't matter if the BB comes here or from the other side, it will react to it. Thing is, this one can take Joule up from, I think it's 0.2 to 2, 2 Joule. So a strong as well as a very weak gun will be able to make it go and make the sound. This is a prototype, so no price or release yet. Well, they're aiming for a tune release. And for you guys that are into pushing little rubber bolts and making the light glow, uh, for being into shooting IPSC airsoft, for example, that's an interesting idea.